Hello everyone, welcome to the Cat Lady Chapter 2. I found that there are actually seven chapters. We haven't met any one of the five people that the old lady assigned to us. So I guess one person for one chapter. Now we are going to meet the first person, I suppose. Okay, let's start the Chapter 2. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? I guess he's a psychologist. But a useless one. She's awake, Doctor. By the way, why isn't there Good a evening. Title? It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? So my hang is still lost? Let me say it first. My name is Susan of... My name is Susan Ashworth. Or we ignore him. Let's show him how smart I am. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Well, I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Is it after the pills? Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Uh... Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. I didn't say anything. Is it after... Susan took the pills. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. 
tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done and her walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. I just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? She got a lot to say. <laughs> That's really a lot. I really want to turn on the subtitles though. So when I talk, you guys can still listen. Oh no! Again? Bad dream. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Can I turn on? Oh! Finally! I turned on the subtitle. I got bad dream. No, just a dream like any other. Um. Yeah, a really bad one. Wait. Let me do the good one first. I mean, let me play this game in a positive approach first. And then I do a negative approach afterwards. Yeah, a really bad one. Okay. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have walked anywhere. What was it about? I was burnt alive. <laughs> it's none of your business. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on ten litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. <gasps> the whole room went up in flames. And so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. <laughs> what was your name again? Oh, we didn't know that, right? What happened to me? I guess we are asking both. What was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. You're here a lot. Every time I open <laughs> my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries to crazy hours here. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. Hmm. I guess she needs someone to talk to as well. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm, and then... All of a sudden, I was on the field of Bali. I woke up here and I saw you. So for the first one, we are telling her what happened uh, in chapter 1, and for the second one, we didn't tell Liz. Will Liz think that we are crazy if we tell her the truth? Um, I guess I need to tell her. All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. 
I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel, but there was no light at the end of it, only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree, a burning car, and a crow, and a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil, I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back, gave me another chance. And so, that here I so am. Detailed. <sighs> Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. What? My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden? <laughs> I thought she is alone. I don't have a daughter. Y yeah, Whoever she, she is. Have. She lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. No, she Sorry. wasn't fine. <laughs> and is is that her cat? How long have I? How long have I been here? Where will they let me go home? Yeah. We need to know this because we need to feed the cat. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's oh, talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. How long have I been here? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. That's why careful. she is talking to me. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Tell me something more about yourself. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. I'm at always sick so. as well. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but... I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. 
He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I forgot his I name right away. I really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Linda. Stupid girl. Well, <laughs> Stupid she left, girl. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. <laughs> well, one thing. She's said maybe. a lot. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? Dead he smell. smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. <coughs> I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about, and we haven't even started those sessions yet. I know the living so, there. be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Oh, we can ask her once more. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. <laughs> um, saving your life? Yeah. Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before know. their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your her? flat? Maybe. Uh, the game offers me the same choice over and over again. So this daughter X plays an important position, important role in our coming game. Hmm. I guess we will talk to this man and... I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust Open our hearts. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? Yeah. <laughs> you don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. Is I want Dr. you to X? be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten. And tell me when you're ready, Susan. Child. Count to ten. Uh, want to wait, ready to talk. <laughs> While we're waiting, we can just sit here and then talk. <laughs> now.
how the doctor ex. I mean, that nurse called Lise said that the doctor ex can force someone to open their mind, tell them, um, and and say something that they won't even t-、uh, say to their families. I actually got no choice. I really need to talk to this. This、Man. isn't all about whether you're nuts or not. Like we said before, it's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? We didn't know Susan's background. Is this game now asking my childhood instead? Cause I I really don't know Susan's dad. So I'm going to pick these choice randomly. Yeah, I had a great dad. No, he wasn't a good father to me. I was brought up without a father. I don't think she has a great dad. But there is a choice like that. <laughs> Now we are going for positive approach, but、uh, I'm not sure which one of them is positive. <laughs> Let's just pick the first one. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child, not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago, cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to、She's、ask these、angry. questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? <sighs> oh my. I want to see every choice, every result of the choice.、Um, but I forgot to save when he asked me about my Susan's father. <laughs> Let's choose the first one. I can't complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her, we were like best friends. Like soulmates, we did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable. But he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. What is this? A band. Um, where did we save? I forgot. Ah,、uh, I save in Snot's Fall. And then lie down. Oh, I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Okay. So, oh pillow. Is that my 
Just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. Uh, I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? Yeah, the doctor said, no, the nurse told her that she died for a minute. There is nothing interesting under the pillow. Clock, it said me, the needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken, or maybe it's just it just needs new batteries. Ten o eight. It's full of gloves, three different sizes. Take gloves. Take lots of gloves. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a lot of gloves. <laughs> Why? So funny. Can we take more? I've got enough gloves in my pocket. There's no need to take more. Okay. Why do we need so many gloves? Let's. Oh, we still got the sink. Um, where is? Oh, here. Turn cold water on. What? Hot water. Hmm. Why do we need to turn the tap water on? Well, let's just turn something on. Um, because hot water is dangerous. Let's make cold water instead. <laughs> Examine. Side room one. This is where I'm staying. Hopefully, not much longer. It's a list of drugs for patients in side room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives. It appears the stuff they are giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. Paranoia? What is that? I guess that's some symptoms. Side effect. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this meditation for no good medical reason. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. <sighs> no way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially... Uh, what? A bunch of something. <laughs> I hate flowers. <laughs> Why? Because it's something beautiful. Oh, there is a dot. Uh, it's a toilet door. Let's go in. There Hello. is someone inside. I guess I should wait my turn. Okay. I hope no one is coming out to scare us. Side room two. They must be keeping another suicidal nut case in there. Uh, are we going to open all the tap? Oh wait. Um, if we open the tap, will the nurse think that we are crazy? Let's turn it off. Um, but we got a lot of gloves. <laughs> the nurse will think that 
we are not okay, right? <laughs> I've got enough gloves in my pocket. There's no need to take more. Clock is empty. The needles are stuck at 11.40. Oh. Are all clocks broken in this hospital? <laughs> That's what I, I'm thinking now. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Oh, look under. There is nothing interesting under the pillow. Dirty looking pillow. I guess nothing else. It's a list of drugs from patient inside room 1 and some loops. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. She is taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it, all she is taking methadone for heroin with withdrawal syndrome. Um, those are drugs, Lin. At the bottom of the page, there is a note saying she is actually a private patient who is staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Uh, uh, these are all living humans. Human, human. Um, look at. I bet she thinks those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. <laughs> so mean. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job. Yet totally brainless and close minded. Um, top two. <laughs> I would like to go home now. Is Liz here? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, all right? Um, is, Liz is Liz here? here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Um, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Very busy. I don't think so. It's a discharge letter from Anne Burton, currently a patient in side room one. Not true. It seems she has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Take. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you should yeah. leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Just put some confidential things on the table and then everyone else can read it. You stupid nurse. By the way, I... Now I think that maybe Liz is a patient instead of a nurse. Do you think so? These must be patient's files. They are piled up on the desk. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Again. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Yeah. Who's being sarcastic? You. This annoying bitch. Let's go. Uh, I guess we are not going this way. 
Excuse me, where is the exit? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Um... Just let me go, asshole. <laughs> My name is Susan Ashworth. Can I go now? If you've not been discharged, I can't let you out, Mrs. Ashworth. Shit. Um... I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, Mum. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter and some form of identification. <laughs> what happened to the man in the middle? <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. The man in the middle. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only ticket out of here. He sounds polite, so let's go back. Uh, we can't touch this. Uh, this lady is. Oh, someone comes out. Oh! God, doesn't she look confused? She can be discharged, but not me. Uh, ew, she, she's so creepy. Bye. I don't want to talk to her. Another suicidal patient, strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi, are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. She just trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger, and you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, Martha? yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well, but you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Queen of Magnets. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What um... is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Uh oh let's say first and then since we've never listened um, since we've heard about Elizabeth Who is Elizabeth? This oh it's Liz Uh okay let's choose Elizabeth this No Oh You're no wrong. Leave me alone. It's okay, we Please. got safe low. Just leave me alone. Um, jo Joanne? No. Jo You're wrong. Leave me no. alone. Mary? No. You're <laughs> wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave now me alone. Now I'm thinking there is no correct Mandy. answer here. No. You're <laughs> wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. None of them is correct. Is if there you really more are than one answer? Then... Yeah, he's. Uh... Uh... Anne Burton. Anne Burton. No. That's, that's my, my name. name. You don't know my mother. You, you little, little liar. liar. Leave me alone. Please. 
Let's try again. If you really are with them. <laughs> Sarah. 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 No. No. <laughs> if you really are with them. But I know it. Let, Let me. Alice. Alice. No. You're no. wrong. Leave me alone. Okay. If the you really are a friend, then one is I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. I think I've chosen every one of them. I guess I'm trolled by the game developer, is it? And but no. <laughs> Let's go to the top oh wait. Maybe we can get some hints from her room. No, we've tried this room. Uh, let's go into the toilet. Maybe we can get some hints. It looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medic. Occasion pots in there, among other gross, gross stuff. Okay, let's search the bin. I will take one of these medication pots. Not read. Please stop writing messages on the mirror while we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the walk tidy. Mirror, is that me? I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. Um take shot of glass. If they find it on me, they will think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I will risk it. Let's open tap. Hot tap. And then there is a bell. Um, use. The lid is down. Oh, if I ask her to use it, she doesn't know how to open the lid. Flush. And then open it. And then use it. I've dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Ugh! Look at <laughs> close lid <laughs> flush <laughs> and then let's try to use again. <laughs> I don't need to do it again. Let's flush it when it's over. Okay, nothing happened. Oh Can you see P I L yeah, I was thinking that maybe the hot water can, um, because of the steam, uh, let's try to turn cold water. Is there any mirror in the um, patient room. Let's turn it off. Li e l e i l e i l. Maybe it's something written by N. Hey, talk to. If you really are a friend, then okay. but I know it. E i l. E-I-L? E-L-I? E-I-L. Elizabeth. 
No. You're Amra? wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. Hmm. E L I E E I L E L I. Hmm. Wait. We are not using any one of these items now. Maybe the gloves can help us. Right? She says she can't use the mirror, but I can see that she can see herself clearly. Oh! We haven't interact with the bell. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? <laughs> I just want to remind you that I'm ready to go home. I pressed it by mistake, sorry. Um, I wanted to see how long it takes to... <laughs> I'm feeling a bit woozy. Um, um, let's... I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Uh-oh. Mind your own business, I'm not taking anything. I will have your name so I can make a big fat complaint. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. 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 Are you pills. insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Oh my god! Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. S-H-A? Now we look like Anne. I really want to know, does anyone, um, I mean, can we change it? Let me go back. I really want to go back. We are saving to slot one. Okay, um, I pressed it by mistake, I sorry. I pressed it by mistake, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. We are fine. So we can really change it. E I L. But we can press it. For more. Um. So, but, uh, if you really are a friend, then. I don't know what I need to do now. Can I, Can make, I make a, a phone, phone call, call please? please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Do we really need to get injected? Oh. I will become Anne. Oh. What should we do? 
Okay, I guess we need to press the bell again. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, we cannot finish chapter 2 this time. This game is really rich in content and really worth to buy. Let's continue playing it next Wednesday. See you next time. Bye-bye.